Hi, welcome to Primetime Pickleball. My name is Jordan Briones, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about the third shot and specifically the arc that it has over the net. So let's jump right in. That was it. I did it. We have gotten a lot of questions and comments about the third shot. Um, people want to see it from a side view. Uh, and we're, when we're talking about the third shot, it's a soft shot from the baseline. Remember, we're not hitting it hard. We're usually taking pace off of the ball and we are trying to really clear this net at the um, um, over the net into our opponent's non-volley zone okay so i'm hitting the ball up and the apex of the ball so at the highest point it's going to be on my side of the court and it's going to be descending into my opponent's non-volley zone so the main thing uh, that you want to take away from this video is that you really want to get that apex like i said you you want to get it up on your side of the court and as it crosses the plane of the net it's descending into the non-volley zone area of your opponent okay the third shot uh, drop is one the one big thing it makes your opponent do it makes your opponent hit up on the ball because because that ball is descending into the non-volley zone uh, your opponent is forced to hit up and this is the whole purpose of the third shot drop so i have my uh, friend and partner Danny over here at the non-volley zone and uh, I'm just gonna hit I'm gonna stay back here just so you guys can see uh, what the balls look like over the net okay if I don't want to cut it too close because I don't want to hit the net the point will be over okay you'll see my balls are going to range uh, they're gonna range between one and three feet maybe even higher above the net and uh, just just notice and remember the higher I get it, the more margin I have, but the more likely it's going to go deeper into the non-volley zone and the more likely um, my opponent could hit down on that ball, okay? So I really want to find that happy medium, uh, the margin over the net and the depth, okay? The shorter I hit it, obviously the shorter I hit it, the closer to the net, it's going to be harder for them to um, hit down on that ball, okay? So here we go. So even that one, even that last one right there, he still has to hit up on that ball. If your opponent at the net is volleying the ball, it doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad shot. As long as you're making them hit up on that ball, it's still a good third shot drop. So like that last one. So he's reaching, he's trying to reach into the non-volley zone and take it out of the air, but if he's reaching in and he's contacting that ball really low, that's still a great third shot drop. Here we go. Oh, really gotta try to get my clearance. There you go. There we go. All right, so one thing I want you guys to notice, um, like I said before, if your opponent is volleying those balls that you are dropping, trying to drop into non-volley zone, remember it does not necessarily mean that it's a bad drop okay like i said you want to just make sure it's descending into your opponent's non-volley zone and you know forcing them to hit up on the ball so i hope this video helped out a lot and we'll see you in the next one if you enjoyed this video please give it a like thanks so much for watching for more free video lessons please visit primetimepickleball.com but before you head on over there make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos also, for primetime pickleball shirts like this and other great apparel, please visit ptpgear.com.